Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about an unusual type of a star known as a cocoon star. Something that you may have never heard of before because there's actually not that many of them out there and we haven't really found real examples of them just yet. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And to help you actually visualize all of this, I decided to do this completely from scratch using the Universe Sandbox just to kind of give you an idea how pretty much most of the stars have at some point been um, what's known as a cocoon star. And some of them will become cocoon stars yet again. So let's actually just pick a random, relatively massive gas giant, put it in the center, add some uh, rings to it. And this right here is just to emulate the beginning of a new star. So this is essentially a solar system that's about to be created. This is a very sort of a brand new star that's about to become a star by starting a nuclear reaction on the inside. And it has an accretion disk that will then become various planetary bodies. This is essentially how our sun was born. And um, at some point, this part right here was actually covered by all of this interstellar dust and all of these little particles entirely. And I'm going to actually simulate this by adding another type of ring or another set of rings. But in this case, it's actually going to be a sort of different color ring and it's going to be like a sphere here and maybe even more than one sphere. So because we actually want to cover this completely. So, okay, it didn't really work as I planned, but basically here we go. So right now, as soon as this star kicks in and be, be, uh, begins producing uh, actual light, basically as soon as the nuclear reaction starts on the inside, it's still going to be blocked by this material that's orbiting around it. This is because that's essentially how the stars are made. Now, from a distance, if you look at it, you will actually not be able to see the star at all. In terms of visual light, it will be invisible. You can only actually see it in infrared light because it produces a lot of heat. And this, by definition, is what we would call a cocoon star. It's a star that's invisible in visual light, it's completely dark, only produces infrared light, and only because there's actually a lot of material, a lot of various interstellar dust covering, it, covering all of this. Now, every star, including our sun, was a cocoon star for at least a few thousand or maybe even a few million years when it was just created. And as soon as the actual star becomes active and starts producing nuclear energy, um, it at some point will actually disperse all of this material because of the stellar wind and will then start producing energy. So right now, well, a lot of this mass actually will combine with it, um, but most of these particles will now actually be kicked out of the solar system or will actually be dispersed to the outside of the solar system as the star becomes an actual star and no longer a cocoon star. Now, this is not exactly how it happens because in this case, the star actually just absorbed everything. Uh, but a lot of these particles will actually get kicked out completely. Now, that's just one type of a cocoon star. The other type is actually quite the opposite. It's actually when a star such as, for example, our sun gets to be so old and so big that it starts shedding some of its outer shell. So uh, by the time that our sun is about something like 10-ish uh, billion years old, it's going to become what's known as a red giant. So we're gonna try to simulate this here if we can. And at that point, it's going to grow larger and larger and will start shedding its outer shell. And its size will be um, somewhere along the lines of this big. So it's going to definitely cover Mercury. It's also going to definitely cover Venus and will we'll probably even come as far as Earth. So this is when our sun is about 10 billion years old and has become a red giant. It's also actually going to be a lot less bright than this and a lot, um, or not bright, but a lot less hot than this. Its temperature will actually have decreased, making it look something like this. It's going to be what's known as a red giant. Now, in this red giant stage, our um, our sun will start shedding some of this outer layer as well. And a lot of it will become dust. And as it sheds this layer, 
and then we're going to try to simulate this again by adding some more stuff here. So basically, we're going to create another sphere around this. Uh, I think we need to place a lot of particles because this size of this sun is so, so large compared to the previous sun. And so a lot of these particles, let's accelerate time a little bit. A lot of these particles will actually start being released from the sun and eventually cover our sun completely. And this will also become a kind of a red giant cocoon. So at some point, our sun will actually be quite invisible and will only be visible in infrared light because a lot of the outer shell will become what's known as a planetary nebula. And when all of this disperses at the end, there's only going to be a white dwarf left in the center. This is how our sun will end its life. So it basically started as a cocoon star and it's going to end its life as a cocoon star as well, which is by itself actually is pretty interesting and pretty unusual because all the best things always start and end with something that's similar. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I wanted to give you an idea of what cocoon stars are and how they look and what they're all about and kind of help you understand what our sun will become at some point as well. So here's what it's going to look like from a distance, completely covered by dust. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something from this video and hopefully you'll learn more about our sun and cocoon stars. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Let's explode our sun, and let's find out what happens if you explode a cocoon star. I'm actually a little bit worried about my computer crashing at this point, and also I need to... It's gonna be hard for me to even hit the sun, it's covered by all of these particles. Can we actually try to... Okay, here we go. Whoa, alright. Well, that's interesting. Not exactly what I thought would happen, but wow, okay, well this is very, very unusual. I think our, our sun actually disappeared, and there is something that's going to appear right behind it. I believe it's going to be a supernova, actually. So if we accelerate time just enough here, without crashing the computer, we can kind of start seeing, yeah, yeah, there is, there is a supernova, look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, that's a pretty cool ending to this video. See you later, space out, and as always, bye-bye.